Hello guys, what's up? It's Asif Aragon. So today we have some leaked specification or rumors about the Sony A7 Mark IV. Now it is the most anticipating camera in 2021 because we are thinking that maybe Sony will release the Sony A7 Mark IV back in the 2020 when they actually release Sony A7C instead of the Sony A7 Mark IV so we got confused and now again some news some rumors some leaks arises on the website what you can actually get on the Sony A7 Mark IV first of all the first original Sony A7 got released on 2013 then we got the Mark two version of it in the 2014 and then we got the mark three version at 2018 so it has been two years past since we didn't get any update at the core level of sony because core level is actually i'm saying because anyone can use the sony a7 mark 3 anyone means it doesn't necessary that you will be a professional videographer, professional photographer, hobbyist, enthusiastic photographer or videographer. It doesn't need that. Anyone can use that. It has a 24 megapixel sensor, IBS in it, has a 4K up to 30p recording, 120fps slow motion at 1080p. So you have actually all in the Sony A7 Mark III. That's why it is so popular still. There are many other cameras that can compete with the Sony A7 Mark III, A7C, the Canon R6, the Nikon Z6, Nikon Z6 Mark II, the Panasonic S5. They all can compete with the Sony and of course the Fujifilm X-T3, X-T4, they also can compete with the Sony. But because it is having a lower price cost and have so much features in it that's why the sony a7 mark 3 is still so much popular so what we can get in the upgrade version of the sony a7 III? now the first specification comes where they say that we will get a 61 megapixel full frame sensor now i doubted it because if we are getting a 61 megapixel sensor in the Sony A7 Mark IV, which is standing on the bottom line of their full frame cameras, other than the Sony A7C, because that is a other segments camera, so where will be the Sony A7R Mark V will stand? Will it have a 85 megapixel, 100 megapixel? I don't think so, because 61 megapixel on the Sony A7R Mark IV is quite enough for everyone so i don't think that they will put a 61 megapixel sensor on the sony a7 mark 4 now they will put roughly a 32.5 or maybe 35 megapixel or 36 megapixel can be an option for the sony a7 mark 4 now on the videographic segment many of the specification says that we will have a 8k up to 30p but then where will be the Sony A7S Mark III will stand? Because no one will be buying that camera if they are getting the 8K up to 30P in a lower priced camera body. So I think that will not be possible. Also, we will get a 4K up to 60P and 240p slow motion at 1080p. So these are the main specification of the Sony A7R sorry sony a7 mark 4 now other than that the overall thing will be the same like we will get a totally articulated touch screen that will be great we will get a magnesium alloy totally weather seal body inbuilt wi-fi inbuilt bluetooth inbuilt nfc those are just common thing and with that, we will also get a dual card slot. So that will be great beneficial for photographers and videographers also because they can take the 
backup on one card and they can shoot the videos and the photos with the one card so that will be great so overall this will be the specification of the sony a7 mark 4 as i am guessing as of my opinion actually and the price point of this camera will be 1999 dollars so that will be interesting so if i give a summary or sum up all this what we will get now in the first quarter of 2021 that means in the month of march or april i think we will get the sony a7 mark 4 at a price cost of just 1999 dollar and in that camera we will have a 32.5 megapixel full frame sony sensor that will have a in body ibs for photos for video also on the videographic part this camera will deliver a 4k video recording capability up to 60p and 240p slow motion video recording capability up to 1080p and we will have a totally articulated skin, total touch skin also and there will be Bluetooth, Wi-Fi inbuilt also in this particular camera. So that is all about the Sony A7 Mark IV. Now, it is not official still because I am just guessing around because we are thinking, we are seeing the specification of the Sony A7 R Mark IV a7s mark 3 a7c so that's why we can say that what sony can provide in the next version of the sony a7 mark 4 so that is all and let me know in the comment section below that what you will think what are you thinking of the sony a7 mark 4 what particular specification what particular thing what particular configuration you actually want in the new version of the sony a7 cameras so let me know in the comment section below i love to know from you guys so goodbye guys have a nice day and see you in the next video